What's up, galera? It's Ohe with Jinga and Grow Strong, and today I'm going to teach you how to practice your capoeira music anywhere. If you're at work or at school, don't get fired. Let's get to it. I'm a PAD. Okay, guys. So a lot of times, uh, you know, we need to be submerged in the culture and the music to to really get good. Capoeira has a different swing to it. It's different. It's not like standard four four music. It's, it's got a different stop and go swing to it, which makes it very cool Brazilian style music. Now, I was a musician, or I thought I was at least, and I thought I was pretty good when I started Capoeira, but it totally threw me for a loop because of the, the different clapping style, of course, a different language, and just a different swing to the music. So it, it was almost like starting over. I thought I had a jump on, on everyone else, but in reality, I really had to start from zero. Now, being a musician did help uh, with my rhythmic skills, but hey, man, it was a completely different animal. So. You need to submerge yourself completely, whether when you're at work, when you're at school, uh, whatever it happens to be, so that you could get that extra practice, practicing songs, practicing rhythm, practicing the tokas. Okay, so for example, the first thing that I bought, uh, that I started practicing was clapping, okay, and then singing the song. So the language thing was the, was the biggest thing. I could keep a, uh, you know, a little melody, so I had to learn the language first. So make sure you do that. So apart from clapping and singing, it's the first thing you do, I want to give you a little bit more for this video. Uh, we use a book. The first instrument that I bought was a, a pandeiro, a tambourine, a Brazilian tambourine. But a lot of times I couldn't take that to work. I would play drums on myself, on my pants, and things like that. But if I had a desk job whenever I was working in the lab, okay, I would use a book, okay, and you could practice anything like this, as long as you don't bug your boss and that it's cool and you keep it a low volume. <laughs> don't get fired, like I said. For example, okay, so if I'm playing tambourine, okay, or if I'm just playing, I can make believe that this is a drum, okay. Right? Does that have to be perfect? And if I want to, okay, I could, you know, if I'm sitting down and I have it on a desk, okay, I, I play with two hands. But for example, if this is a pandeiro, I, can, I could do the Brazilian style, okay, which is, right, cadencia, out, in, out. Slap, 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 slap. Then add the Brazilian roll. Boy, see, see, oh, no. So on and so forth. Okay, if I want to play your job. This is very valuable. Use any book, something that's good. Don't bug your boss, don't bug your coworkers. Or if you're in the car, steering wheel atabaki. <laughs> steering wheel atabaki. Play the drum on your steering wheel. Don't get in a wreck, okay? Um, I am not telling you to do that. <laughs> but anyway, you have to sneak your uh, sneak in ways where you can practice nonstop because you don't have you're not always in front of your instruments. You can always be there, uh, but just taking that little thing and taking that with you, you can practice really per uh, Brazilian percussion anywhere that you go. Always, constantly. The more that you do, the better, the faster that you can get. Sounds good. Okay, so if you guys haven't checked out my oh, hey, uh, Brazilian Capoeira Music Mastery, go and do that. It's on pre-sale right now. There's at least 30, 30 videos in there. I'm loaded, I'll probably upload another 30 uh, videos. So uh, get it right now. It's half price. It's 50 bucks. It's going to go for 99 bucks. So go ahead and click the link down below. Get yours. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Jingan Grow Strong.